And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over what you need to be doing in Madden 20 right now. Now, you guys are probably wondering what is there to be doing, especially with a lot of you guys who are just doing not much right now and probably think we're in Madden Endgame. But there are some certain things that I will be focusing on for the final closing two, maybe three months of Madden now. If we're lucky, it's two. If it gets pushed, if it gets pushed back because of the whole pandemic situation, that would really suck. But then it would probably become three. But as of now, we are targeting probably a late July as the early release. So I'm assuming about two months from now. So that's kind of the end of Madden. Now, what should we be expecting in these times? More than likely, the last golden tickets, positional heroes, and blockbuster. At bare minimum, that's kind of what I'm expecting from this period on. Obviously, some more, more Ultimate Legends. But that's kind of what I'm expecting now. What could you be doing for these last, so like especially now, to make it enjoyable and kind of capitalize? So first things first, guys. Going over to the market, you really want to be checking where we're trending towards. Because we're going to get to a point, guys, where the market's just at, at a low and it's going to stay there. And I think we're, we're pretty much trending towards that. When that becomes the point, you want to do one of two things. Either A, buy your team, make a god squad, and just ride it out for the rest of the year. Especially when you see a 98 overall quarterback and a below 100k. Or, part two, like I've been telling you guys, do this. Before we get to that low point, sell everything. If you're like, if you're done, guys. Like, truthfully, if you're done, best of us, I can give you sell everything. Do not buy packs. Save those coins for rookie premieres or sell it to a coin sponsor. You know why? If you spend it on packs, all you do is put back into the game. It's fun for five minutes. You turn it off. You hang out with your friends. It's like it never happened, right? You never even... It's, it's gone. Now, if you let's say you sell your team, you get 4 million coins. You either A, save for rookie premieres, go on ahead and get these rookie premieres that you can then transfer into next year's game. A, B, sell it to a coin sponsor, make back some money, which you can then use to buy next year's game. I always think those are the two best options. Do not be dumb and go ahead and spend all of your coins. Don't. It's just, especially if you're done. Now, guys, if you're still playing, if you're still competing in weekend league and you're having fun, I recommend pretty soon you start buying the, the best God Squad you can buy. Prices have never been cheaper, and it's only trending down from here. Obviously, some guys like Golden Tickets are still pretty expensive, but guys like Randy Malls, like Michael Vick's already at in the 500k range. You could have a lot of fun at this point in the year with some of these cards very easily. Very easily go compete in weekend league. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking about building my God Squad pretty, pretty soon. And going over now guys for all you guys wondering real quick about the giveaway video yesterday i'm going to be doing the giveaway winners probably tomorrow I'm giving another day because we're still getting a lot of entries that and there was like 500 comments i gotta i've been trying to read through all of them but it's kind of hard to pick one out of 500 per each question so gotta go back really go through it make sure i get the best ones so i'll probably be doing that tomorrow or the next day so stay tuned for that do not think i forgot moving on guys i probably will be going ahead at some point too as well picking up michael vick or getting my gold free golden ticket and then going on some weekend league tears hopefully that's kind of what i plan to do at the end of this year to have some fun considering i haven't played weekend league in quite a while and then as far as golden tickets guys those prices obviously will still keep trending down for quite a while especially when people start getting their free one free free ones sorry so i don't think that these are impossible anymore either they are slowly trending down especially with guys like michael vick only being 2.6 which is pretty crazy considering people were buying it for like six mil i still think lamar is the best one though which is pretty self-explanatory here as you can see why he's so much more expensive but guys moving on what should you be doing in the game physically right now besides that First off, go over to solo challenges. Start finishing up some things you haven't finished up, especially if it's gonna come to an end. Now guys, one thing that we've all been wondering, at least I've been wondering, is going to be the journey. Are they going to finish the journey? So journey has milestones. They had journey master, journey to completion token. They had journey three completion token. Now if you come over to sets, they were supposed to be the journey master now. They never really got around to finishing it. Now I assume that they're gonna drop it at some point in the near future. Because it's been quite a while since we've gotten anything regarding that. Now let's head on over all the way to journey completion. And here you go. So you would need all four to earn. Turn them on at the end of the year for a special reward. Now I don't know how end of the year we're talking. But it appears to be pretty, pretty long at this point. Like that thing should have been out already. I mean, we, I understand they said end of the year. But we're pretty much in the end of the year. We should at this point have that. Now if we look through. Journey diamonds gives us. Let's see. It gave us journey three completion token, which means we would need one last one for a journey four. Now, I don't believe they hit it in Gauntlet or anywhere else, so I don't know when they plan to drop that. Gauntlet obviously finished for us. But guys, beyond that, I do hope we get that pretty soon. It should be a pretty good player. And then fan appreciation, of course. Guys, get these done. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is your free golden ticket. 
99 overall not golden ticket is not something to take lightly i plan to start these as soon as possible i just haven't gotten around to it yet because i thought there was a limit on them now i know there's not a time limit i want to wait till they're all out because i don't like grinding solos and then having to wait another week so i'll probably start them next week right before the other ones come out and then kind of just grind them all out one time but for a lot of other people i recommend you get them started not everyone has that kind of free time so get them done one a day two a day very simple guys these are those these are the nice solos and you know what the sad part is for all you guys who have been playing madden ultimate team for as long as it's been around there was a time in madden 13 when i used when solos just come out it was like a seven solo sequence all full games to earn like a pack and i used to be hype nowadays solo sequences come out and people complain over them including myself and they're like pass for 70 years five yards in 10 plays i used to play full game legend solos all madden and i used to like if you lose start over it, it was crazy the games i used to have to play i used to play the same solo 10 times in a row and it was full games play all day like it, it was crazy and nowadays we're so spoiled with these solos so simple guys seven five yards in 10 plays i can get that in one passing play even on, on hard maybe two max complete six passes that's the only issue now if you want to get the bonuses you gotta complete six passes you throw six passes in the flats and then you go for your deep pass you're done and then one of them and make sure it's a touchdown it's very simple to go ahead and complete these solos and there's not too many of them i believe there was 10 and there's gonna be three weeks of it there's gonna be this week another one should be dropping in about three days and then the final one should be dropping the day that the uh, golden ticket actually will be in the game which should be the 29th which i believe is going to be the last day if i'm not wrong so hopefully this goes pretty quickly i imagine it will and we can pick ours now if you guys know who you plan on picking i did make a video over going on it i'm leaning towards either lamar jackson or the other it depends unless i get michael vick now i personally think lamar jackson's a really big improvement over the michael vick ultimate legend passing wise running wise ability wise so i'm kind of thinking i'm kind of leaning towards golden ticket uh lamar but at the same time michael vick's a much cheaper option i could use that golden ticket on someone else such as like a defensive player or Bo jackson like i could really do a lot there so i really don't know yet still contemplating everything not sure which route i plan to go yet but make sure you get those done and then beyond that guys that's pretty much it for solos now is there anything to prepare for i do suspect positional heroes and blockbuster the rest of the year now positional heroes guys something i've been telling you guys do not sell your binder now me i gave away my binder which is different i'm trying to be nice for you guys but for anyone else do not be doing that keep your binder because when positional heroes come out the price of your binder could start going up and i'm not talking about like high overall cards like high overall cards if you have them you can just go ahead and sell them i'm talking about like those little guys like the the gold cards or like the base elites that go for like a k like just wait a little bit maybe, maybe they go up like 200 300 coins each which if you have 100 of them be a decent amount of coins so i'm just saying i'd recommend waiting a little bit on those especially for guys like who have huge binders like me like i have a maxed out binder right now and that's not even that much considering considering what some people have like my binder's pretty pretty full of a bunch of dumb cards that i really just don't need anymore as you guys can see all these cards are sellable right here so i'm hoping for positional heroes to really help me clean this out now again if you have if you already want if you're already planning on cleaning it out and you did it already that's fine i'm just saying for all you guys who are already at this point and you haven't done it yet maybe it'd be the time to just wait because if you clean it out now, it's things are already cheap. You know, like like I said, if I have let's say 200 cards here, I could sell. Let's just say, and they all go up 1,000 coins each. That's 200,000 coins extra than I would have made before, which is now an extra ultimate legend or two, or even three, depending on the price of them right now that I could buy myself, or even extra packs, or ultimate legend packs. There's a lot of things you could really look at it as. And every one of those guys, you could say, okay, all that extra coins I earned, I bought me a player or some packs. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, my high overall ones, the you know, price they go for is the price they go for. So those are fine. I'm talking about the guys who go for nothing that could go for something when positional heroes drop. And then, of course, we have Blockbuster, which we don't really know the precedence for that one. That one's just going to come out, see how it comes. Hopefully, it comes out. I'm, I'm predicting probably June. Blockbuster's always been like a summer program, so that's going to be like June, right when the summer starts. And then uh, May, I'm thinking positional heroes, hopefully, right after golden tickets are done. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Who knows? Guys, all I know is that I'm super excited for Madden 21. So let's close, let's close out this video, like this year in total finishing what we can do like i said and a checklist do your solo so you're not golden ticket finish up those journey things for when that journey master ever comes out go on ahead check the block make sure you're, you're satisfying your team and your needs whether or not you plan to go rick premieres and you plan to go money for the next game or if you plan to finish this year out strong and dominate weekend league just make sure you know which route you're going because we're getting near a point where it's going to be no point of return you either have the team or you have the coins or you have the premiere set because we're only two months away guys it's going to fly i'm super hyped for madden 21 like i can i cannot believe this year flew so fast to be quite honest with you guys this year was a blur like one second i was recording my first week of packs and now now here we are and we're almost to madden 21 it's been a great year a lot of growth a lot of fun interactions hopefully things can keep moving up and madden 21 come out in no time and then we can get right back on that grind and starting all over again with a base 
elite quarterback iMac, but I'm hyped for that. I really do like that. So let's finish this year out. This is what to do right now, Madden 20. Madden 20. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys follow that checklist. There's not a lot left to do, but what there is to do, pretty important because that could really set the tone for the rest of the year or set the tone for next year. So make sure you get that done, especially with premieres. I think those are important. Again, I didn't find too much use in them myself, but people who have budget teams, those cards would have been great for them all year, especially around Christmas. They get a bunch of upgrades. But guys, that's it for the video. Hope you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And remember guys, the giveaway video I will be announcing probably tomorrow. So good luck. I'm out. Peace.